Now, if you haven't been in a bouncy house before, you're really missing out. Well, other than the fact of getting rope burn, floor burn, and practically breaking your back every now and then, it's quite the fun time. I think my back just snapped in half. For the most part. One of my first ever bouncy house experiences was when my parents decided to get one for my siblings and I. We would invite the entire neighborhood over, and we would be in that bouncy house all day. We played a lot of games in that bouncy house, such as karate. Alright everyone, listen up. Today we shall fight one another to see who the master of this bouncy house is, after all. We also played tag and dodgeball. Dodgeball never went too well for me. So the air blower that was used for the bouncy house didn't like working all the time. All of us would be jumping around, and the next thing you know, the air blower would randomly shut off, and the bouncy house would start to deflate while we were inside of it. After lots of unforgettable memories, the bouncy house soon popped, and we never saw it again. But listen here, my encounters with bouncy houses and blow-ups still aren't over. My school had a special event every year where they would bring in a ton of blow-ups, and all the students get to play on them for the day. My friend and I were quite competitive, and we always wanted to beat each other on the obstacle course race. Hey man, just know that I'm going to beat you. Ha, huh, yeah, we'll see about that. As the race started, we were neck and neck with each other until it came to the blow up rock climbing wall. My friend was almost to the top of the wall before I even placed my hands on one of those squishy rocks, and I knew what had to be done. Without any hesitation, I lunged into the air, and I grabbed onto my friend's shorts. I yanked with all my might and the shorts went with, but my friend's body didn't. Dude, what are you doing? Welp. In the end, we thought it was hilarious, and we still laugh about it to this day. Alright, before I jump into this next encounter, you see what I did there? I just want to say that any slides at any amusement park should be banned. So first, you have to wait in line for this dumb slide, then you have to grab a mat and walk all the way to the top, and those stairs that they provide for you to walk on don't even help. So half the time you're just slipping. And then by the time you get up there, you literally have a two second rush of energy until you're done. But wait, there's more. Flippin' floor burn. Let me explain. So while you're sliding down, the mat you're sitting on will just slide off from underneath you, leaving you to skid all the way down the slide. And by the time you're done, the skin on your body is basically gone. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I'm being a bit dramatic, but in the end, bouncy houses and blow ups are all fun and games until you get injured. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. I want to give a huge thanks to Baggy Boy for doing lines for my video. I can't thank you enough for taking time out of your day to do lines for me. It sounded really good and I just want to thank you again. I have some quick announcements. Number one, I have a new Instagram, um, at NaderbugArts. I'm going to be posting all my art on there so you guys can go give that a follow. Oh yeah, and I also opened up commissions so if you guys want to, you know, check those out, there will be a link below to my Twitter if you guys want to like purchase one or something, I don't know. I'm also in the works of getting an actual animation program and that's going to be Toon Boom. I'm finally getting an animation software, so I'm really excited. Also, one last thing, don't make fun of me, don't judge me, but I got a Fortnite creator code. It's just, uh, it's all caps, NaderBug182. If you want to use it, go for it. If not, I don't really care, but yeah. Okay, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks again to Baggy Boy. I really appreciate it. And um, thanks for everyone for watching. And I'll see you guys some other time. All right, peace.